The basic goals for the, for the new DA were to uh, build the fastest aerodynamic bike in the world. You know, having the fastest bike in the world today doesn't mean you get to have the fastest bike in the world tomorrow. Well, how do you take it to the next level? And that just comes down to refinement. You know, refining the shapes, refining the brake placement, refining the fork, um, making a bike that's faster. When we started with the new DA for 2011, we started with a, a, a clean slate, a clean canvas, and we decided, let's do this bike right. Let's start and learn every aspect about aerodynamics in each part of the bike, the down tube, the seat tube, the stays, the fork, everything that contributes to the overall drag on the bike itself. The main goal was uh, the aerodynamic performance and then stiffness, and then the third one was the weight. By the time we ever went into the wind tunnel on this, we had used CFD software to design and then optimize the tube shapes. Then we actually CNC'd a plastic bike. This is a lot more from the computer, stuff we learned from that bike in the computer. Uh, then this is all from the CFD. CFD is computational fluid dynamics. It, it basically lets us simulate the wind tunnel on our computers. And you run different analysis, finding out what tube shape's the best, what airfoil is the best, how the fork interacts with the wheel, how the fork interacts with the down tube. And you start building it more and more. This is actually uh, cut off of the, the same files that would be used to make the tooling. So one last validation, if you will, to make sure everything's perfect before we go ahead and cut steel tools and start uh, making some final samples for uh, the team this year. We are at the San Diego Wind Tunnel on a project here. We just received last night our first prototype master sample of the new 2011 DA TT bike. We're here to validate our design and uh, we'll see what happens. We've done a new integrated stem that's more integrated into the top tube than the previous version. We've done a smaller diameter headset, narrower, narrow profile from the front, um, a new airfoil shape on the down tube as well as the seat tube. Um, one thing that we added to the seat tube also was this little, this flare on the back of the seat tube that directs the air around the tire and the rim. Uh, integrated rear brake, it's integrated into the chainstay instead of on top of the chainstay like the previous version. New integrated seat clamp that's in line with the top tube. Uh, this happens to be a, a plastic version. The metal one is coming shortly. Integrated DI2 battery mount with the similar flare to direct the air around the battery as we used on the seat tube. Going into 010 and 11 on everybody's bike, this thing's disappearing. Cables, wires, the bikes are getting extremely cleaned up and it's, it's basically to grab that aerodynamic advantage. Focusing on optimizing those tube sh shapes and fork shapes and seat tubes and everything to perform well in crosswinds. It's just not aerodynamics, it's also the structure of the bicycle. You know, how well is it to perform as a bicycle? It's not just, again, going straight against the wind, it's the angle of the wind, it's uh, when they need to put power to the rear wheel, uh, the bottom bracket's gonna flex less. Uh, when they go into a corner, they're gonna be able to go into that corner without that front wheel chattering. And so we thought about all of those details. The bayonet system, the, the front of the fork is actually the steer tube. So when you start talking about a very narrow head tube, your steer tube gets considerably smaller and you lose a lot of stiffness. So by moving the steer tube external, you get a lot of that stiffness back in the front end that you lose by having that narrow cross section. It's got two things, we're inside out and modular monocoque. And basically, the modular monocoque, the process allows us to do the inside out. Basically, an internal mold. The internal mold is what actually needs to come out once you make the frame. Monocoque construct just gives the ability to take those mold pieces out of the frame and create a, long, a lighter, stronger, you know, more refined frame. So you increase the surface area of the tubes by making deeper cross sections, but we didn't add any weight. A lot of that comes down to the molding process, monocoque construction, the inside out technology. When you buy a quality frame, you get a quality bicycle, meaning that what you see on the outside is just as nice as what you get in the inside. New nanocarbon uh, is thrown in this 
the bike, which uh, made the bike incredibly stiff and lightweight. We didn't have the access to these new aerospace materials, especially the uh, nano resin. Um, you couldn't make a bike strong enough. You couldn't make a bike stiff enough in the aerodynamic profiles we're using. With the technology of components that have come out, like uh, for example DI2, which is electronic shifting by Shimano. By far the most advanced time trial component group, and that's what we're going to use on the DA. Uh, the new DA, I believe, really stands out, and when, uh, when the bike goes against the competition, uh, consumers, dealers will see the difference. I'm ecstatic about this product. I mean, my hat's off the tie and the crew that worked on this thing. We've got the best guys in the world working on this project, and I think they pulled off a good one. The new DA is going to make an athlete go faster. So, so I moved on to Felt at the beginning of this year and I, mean, I haven't looked back once. It's, I jumped straight onto the, the DA and then as soon as you start hitting, hitting bad patches where you start struggling, I, I just look down and I look at, look at what I'm on and I start, think, start putting positive thoughts back in my head. Like, okay, I'm riding the fastest bike, I'm riding the fastest, fastest wheels. Everything, everything I'm on is the fastest. Everything I'm, I'm on is gonna, gonna make me win. It, it just does great things for your confidence when, when you have a reliable machine to trust.